know it's big, I just pose my leg, and as I explained before, if you grab my leg, then of course we have yes mount. But instead of pounding, if I'm in the street combat, I'm you know, slapping, palming. I've got this S mount, but I'm also gouging. I can scratch and gouge the eyes. You'd be surprised how fast that can end his sight. Just, just scratching. Then, of course, yes, I can end it with a full arm break where I start to feel the whole sense with this kind of training equipment. You know, not hesitating to do a full bridge. But again, it's the butting the head. Remember using the crown of your head. You don't see that in MMA. Piercing the elbow into the eye, into the face. Balancing myself, if I have to move off of, of position, controlling the arms becomes really important because if I don't control these arms, he can deploy weapons off his waist or grab at my waist. But here it gives me uh, you know, a good idea, again, of the opportunities to butt, to, to pierce the elbows, but to, to gouge and thumb at the eyes, which is a good ender. Come across, see again, I can grouch. Instead of going for just a neck crank, I actually have an opportunity to gouge or scratch at the eyes, which is ideal. Switching into two, piercing into the eyes. Always small, fast shots so that I can balance again and hold him down. Grabbing at the groin, smashing the groin, catching him off guard. Switching, and then again, once I get to, to base here, to base off his arms, shoulders, pits, and being able to drop knee bombs right to the head, then falling down, controlling him, he's trying to twist out, and me coming up to the head, instead of like an MMA, we can only go to the shoulders. Switching out here again, slapping at the groin, grabbing at the groin, coming in, controlling the arm, smashing, trying, fighting for, for that control. Again, I can scratch at the eyes and thumb at the eyes, instead of just punching at someone covering up. And then again, a kind of satisfaction of breaking through the arm. His body's turned. Imagine hitting the back of the head, hitting the back of the head, or the spine. So these are things that you don't do in MMA. You could do this drill in MMA, but for street combat, getting the mind of hitting as lethally and as hard as possible and striking the throat, uh, the back of the head and the eyes and the groin.